former Secret Service officer and the author of the book Crisis of Character. We have had him on the show to talk about that book. His name is Gary Byrne, and he joins us again. Hey, Gary, good to see you. Good morning. Thank good morning. you. So why, why the lawsuit? Well, I wrote my book to get the truth out about the, the, about the Clintons and my experiences. And many people in the Secret Service have written books about their careers, mm -hmm. but they're usually agents. And when somebody in the uniform division comes out and writes a book and it turns out to be successful, David Brock referred to me as a smear merchant. I'm not a politician. I'm not part of the Washington, D.C. Uh, elite who is used to being smeared or smears other people. I'm a career government employee. I'm a veteran of the Air Force, 25 years in federal law enforcement. I'm a good, honest, decent person. I told my story. It's true. David Brock and, and other media outlets have smeared me, called me a liar. The retired Secret Service Agents Association came out and said I could have never saw what I saw. Well, that's incredibly um, inaccurate because somebody from the Secret Service would probably know that I was subpoenaed six times and then eventually ordered to testify um, by the Supreme Court Justice mm -hmm. Rehnquist. So, and I stand by everything in my book and I'm defending it. And I'm trying to restore my reputation and the book's reputation. When you say David Brock, uh, David Brock is a guy who runs that Media Matters uh, website. It's, Correct. Uh, it's a lefty blog. I think it's funded in part by George Soros. Yes, it is. Uh, things like that. Uh, it, right. It has been uh, trying to bail out the Clintons for years and years and years. Um, so. It's interesting. They suggest that you didn't have access to the Clintons, and we just put up a whole bunch of pictures where you're standing right next to them. Yes, yes, that's exactly right. And, and in some cases, I would say, uh, you know, I don't know David Brock, but I would say he was, he was spilling out anything he could to make me look bad to try to. Here's the thing. Everybody knows that Hillary Clinton can't run on her record. So anybody that comes out and says anything truthful about him, they have to hammer him. And that's just, I realize it's part of the process, but um, I'm not part of that system, and I want to try to restore my reputation and, and, and my good word in the book. Well, so you got hammered, but you also got ignored. I mean, if, if one of Trump's security yes. detail wrote a book about covering Trump, I think that would be on Good Morning America every day for a week. You, most media outlets just acted like your book never came out. So for our viewers who aren't That's familiar with the book, tell us what they would learn if they read it. So you're looking at the first employee in the history of the Secret Service who ever had to be compelled to testify against a sitting president in a criminal law case. I was subpoenaed six times in the Monica Lewinsky case. And you're right, Tucker, if this book, if what I saw was about a Republican, they'd be carving my face in the side of Mount Rushmore. But because it's about a liberal, um, the mainstream media comes out, they either ignore me or they mm -hmm. rip me apart. Now, everyone, every mainstream media TV show had somebody on there to tear me apart and call me a liar, but they wouldn't give me the 10 minutes like you kind people did to explain myself and, and to tell them the truth. Well, Gary, what is the truth about Hillary Clinton? You are very, we're very close to the family, clearly. What do the voters need to know about her? What they need to know is that she's, she, that she's cold, she's distant, she's angry. The real Hillary Clinton is the woman you saw during the Benghazi hearings that yelled, what, matter, what difference does it make any, at this point? The real Hillary Clinton is the person who refused to pick up the phone and let a handful of men fight for thir and women fight for 13 hours with a couple hundred thousand dollars with the small arms when there were hundreds of millions of dollars of equipment and men and women around ready to rescue them and she didn't make the call. That's the real Hillary Clinton. It's the real Hillary Clinton that defended her husband's affairs and the alleged, the alleged uh, uh, assaults and, and slut shame those women. That's the real Hillary Clinton. And of course, uh, in the WikiLeaks dumps, we've learned over something like 30,000 different email that apparently there are a number of FBI agents who uh, felt like they, she's the last person they wanted to work for as well. And one thing about uh, Gary's yes. book, A Crisis of Character, we've heard rumors about it for years, but it does start with a story about a vase in the private residence. Somehow, after there was a melee of sorts up there, wound up broken, and it seems like somebody probably threw that at the floor. Former president, right, Gary? Yeah. So the, here's the facts. There was a bad argument. It was so loud it was it was echoing through the mansion. Um, at one point, there was a crashing sound. When it was investigated, there was a broken vase found. I saw the broken vase the next morning in the curator's office. Later on, when President Clinton came over to the Oval Office, he clearly had a black mark under his eye and was oh trying boy. to conceal it with makeup. So I don't know how he got the black eye. I don't know how the vase got broken, but those are the facts. Black eye. Bad, bad argument, broken vase. Okay, you it's, connect the dots. It's quite a portrait of someone who claims to love humanity but doesn't like people very much. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. No, she does not. All right, the book is called Crisis of Character. Gary, thank you thank very you, much. Thank you, Gary.
Thank you. It was a pleasure being with you. Thanks. All right. Ainsley, what's coming up? Donald Trump isn't just fighting the media and Hillary Clinton. Now he is up against college professors, too. My father was an immigrant, and my children are immigrants. And so vote for whoever you want, but vote for somebody who respects the fact that this is a country built on immigrants. <laughs> Does this belong in the